Uh, welcome to... My cat won't let me sleep, so I'm just going to record more Zelda, because I need to. So last I left off, we pretty much explored or covered the entire freaking desert of the Nehru. Well, probably haven't even covered it, because remember, there's like the whole sand sea crap and whatnot. Opened up the Temple of Time, because apparently that lady named Impa blew it up, so we had to pick a different in entrance. So today we're gonna pretty much go through the mining facility and try and get things done. I am very tired. I got like maybe two hours of sleep. The batteries in your wave remote are ne nearly depleted. Thank you for selling me. I have replacement batteries ready that it hopefully will work. I mean, it's kind of clear what you need to do. Type knock, Aracha. This, this marble monster is said to live for a thousand years, during which time it is continually growing. Though the larva is, is small in size, it's quite ferocious and often found in swarms beneath the sand. It tends to leap towards moving objects such as yourself. Is 
feel like they did that on purpose. Time your stamina so that it's like it either just runs out or it's almost or it's close to running out. Somebody like me. I really only want one of these guys aggro. Dang it! Swing, man! Uh oh. Uh oh. We both. That's shot! Oh, jeez. It already started. Like, I could not move. And now I'm back to normal. Target lock, Staldra. This snake monster from is from before the Dantai. The three bone plated heads and a thirst to cause pain keep it rising even beyond that. Analysis shows that to defeat this cursed snake, all three of its heads must be simultaneously destroyed. I defeated two of them. When did I kill the first one? Dang it, how did I miss the third hit? How did I miss the third hit? How did I miss? I'm... Okay, come on. Come on, bro. How did you miss? There we go. Like, it's so weird. Like, how does it miss? Whatever, it's over.
So four rooms, one locked. Two, two of them locked. I guess I go the only way I can, right? Music stop. What now? Well, the door didn't lock, so I guess I'm, I guess I'm safe. Be like, nah, nah. I mean, I could jump. I could jump it, but I'm not gonna like grab onto the ledge. I'm not more prone. That's pretty much all Zelda dungeons are. It's just like, okay, where have I not gone? How do I get to that? Okay, so let's just go there. Knock, Froak. Though this odd creature is cowardly by nature, it will expose an array of densely packed defensive spines when approached or provoked. 
Don't these guys explode if I smack them? Decide to kill me again. Thank you, Weevo. Thank you, Nunchuck. has to be like I need to take a bomb up there. Probably up to that box first. I mean that looked wooden so like, this is probably the first thing I need to do. Deal with these things. 
Alright, right, knock. Emos. This is an ancient security mechanism. Its weak point is its eye. The eye also also fires. Okay. There's also a weapon that fires focus in focus energy beams. I calculate a 100% failure rate. Any attempt to destroy the eye with your sword. Any attempt to strike the eye with your sword while it's still on top of the pedestal. I recommend using a weapon that can strike at high targets. Conversely, you can lower its height. Lower its head to a height with your sword. Yeah. So there's some way I could actually strike it from without like going sword on it. Like there's an actual way I could strike it without like doing a sword touch. Is what they're saying? I mean, I guess. Nah. I think if I use my bow and arrow, that would actually work. Right? Am I on the right track for that? Oh god no! That's what you Is it 
see. Good job, B. Another fine job. Running across that trench. You are it. You are this. You are an accomplishment and a testament of your people. No one can best you. Oh, sir. Back away. Back up, sir. Uh, 
So is that really worth jumping down here for? See what's up in this now. <laughs> and Gus Bellows, you got a <laughs> you got a feather duster or a duster. Alright. 